Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to one of the first ever episodes of Midnight Protocol. It is available on Steam, and the reason I've got it right now is because it's demoing at PAX East. If you have not heard, I did a premiere uh, yesterday um, for the like the whole thing. So if you've ever wanted to go to PAX East, go. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. It's going on right now. In fact, this video is going to release at the exact same time that PAX is going to be starting up. It's going on for the next three days. Uh, you missed it yesterday, so I'm sorry about that, but it's gonna be going on for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay? It's free to, to go and see all the, the panels and stuff like that. If you don't know what PAX is, Penny Arcade Exchange, all right? I'm a big supporter of them, and I'm, I'm also part of the media uh, peoples. So I've got the little badges and stuff like that. In fact, I got invited last year, no, the year before, and went to go um, battle in the PAX Arena for the um, Stream Stars, stuff like that. So very cool stuff. But before we do anything, be sure to, oh gosh, where is it? Boom. Subscribe, like, comment. And I did that thing again. Dang it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The the black background. We'll just deal with it. Anyhow, a link to this game to their demo is going to be in the description down below. So if you want to go play this, it is a game about hacking, hackery, and just I don't. <clears throat> okay. So back in the day, I used to play this game called um, Uplink, which uh, the panel. These guys are going to be on a panel today. So go look at the pack schedule, and you can talk to the developers of this game. It's not Roblox. Although, could you imagine making a game like this inside Roblox? Just saying. If you're a developer out there, do it. All right, so we have options, quick game, start game. Here we go. Uh, select the save slot. I'm gonna select that one right there. This is turn-based. Uh, the action is divided into turns, recommended to play this way. Finish the tutorial to unlock the real time. Okay, let's do this. Oh gosh, hit escape for previous something. Budapest. Oh, I guess I should, 2062. I guess I should uh, call out the, the makers. Midnight Protocol is a action indie RPG strategy game. Um, the developer is Lugus Studios and the publisher is Iceberg Interactive. And the release date is the summer of 2021, which it's now. Ooh, uh, okay. Um, breaching, oh gosh, my face is on the wrong side. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Let's get over here. Cut. Uh, username. Okay. Oh, I guess I... <laughs> user data. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't matter what you type. You just start hitting the keys and hit enter. Welcome, this is your console. On the left is a different screen. Press the corresponding keys to show the screen. Let's start by opening the email screen with the E key. Okay, hold on. Okay, I think my face is in the way, so I'm just going to hide myself right over here in this little corner. And is the music too loud? I'm gonna I'm gonna turn down the desktop sounds. That's still super loud. Okay. Hold on. There we go. Is that better? No, that's no better. Hold on. There we go. There. That's better. So press E for email. So we have N for news, S for status, E for email, T for internet. So E. Email going to my inbox. All emails you have received. All emails you have received. Emails you can respond to are marked with a dot. Press enter to respond. From Clover or C Lover, whichever. Welcome back. Shift plus up and down to scroll. This is like super loud. Hold on. Do you want to exit the game? No. Settings. Where's settings? It's super loud, even in my ears. Like I can't. I can't hear myself. Look, I'm done trying to talk you out of it. They went easy on you with the last one and you want to get right back into it. Poop, data, you're violating 
parole just by getting anywhere near the deck. Fine, I know that there's no change in your mind anyway. I held you I held on to your old terminal. It's pretty bare bones, but it should get the job done. Snail had his eye on some easy marks for you. You'll just you'll want the funds, I guess. Hey Data, don't disappear on me again, okay? Be careful, be safe. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to leave the cap off that. Um, Mayo, energy drink, water. Thanks, Clover. I appreciate that. That is so cool. I didn't type that. I just hit my keyboard a bunch of times. Uh, Clover's message provided you with a network address. You sh you can get the address screen. You can get to the address screen to see all the available addresses. So A for address screen. Here you can select the addresses you, that you've collected. By selecting addresses, you will initiate a hack on a network. Select plug it in mission by hitting enter. Initially, initialize connection to network. Yes. Stand by. Setting up secure something. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. You have breached the network, and network consists of server nodes. Two in this case. Your current position is the access node. You will always start on. Wait, start a level on the access node. The game is played in a series of turns. During you, during your turn, you can perform two actions. You can spend one action on a move or run or remove a program. Interface with a node or exit the network. The remaining number of actions is displayed in the upper right hand corner of the screen, of your screen. You can move to a connected node by typing move followed by the address of the node. Move F0 will travel to the finance node. Okay, so I need to type move F0. Most have special interface actions that you can use. Your current node's interface action is explained at the bottom of the screen. The node you are on is the financial node. They contain, contain, oh, there's a double there. Contain, con Steven, make note. We're gonna, there's a misspelling. Okay, financial node records. <clears throat> Sorry, financial records that can be funneled into your account. Okay. Interface drain, transfers 30 drain. Good work. The ring around the financial indicates how many credits remain. You're out of actions, so let's pass the turn to the network by using the in command. Transfer protocol, tracing, success. During your turn, the network will trace your position. Once the trace bar at the top right-hand corner of the screen is filled, the network will start to drain your credits destroy your assets or worse. Try to complete your objectives before the network is trace, trace is completed. Drain the financial node before the drain happens. Use the interface commands to drain the node again. <clears throat> Great, the network has been picked clean. At any time you can use exit command to leave the network. Note that exiting the network will also require an action. The, use the exit command, command now to exit the mission. Once you leave, you cannot replay. Yes. A plus, end of mission. Oh! Oh! Gray hat, reputation gained. Nice. Press enter to advance. You have another email. Ooh, E for email. From Clover, 
You're welcome. I figured you might have, you might like some low hanging fruit. Uh, you spent a year AFK and stuff evolves fast. Your words, I I R C. Uh, snail's looking into this Kraken you're after. Can't hurt to keep a low profile until we have something concrete, right? Here's another pretty dull one. From you to Clover. Thanks, Clover. Appreciate it. Gotta run. Okay, press enter to respond. Um, give me something real or a good point. I'm just gonna say give me something real. Come on, Clover. Give me something real. This doesn't get me you this doesn't get us any further. Clover gave you another address. Check out the address on the screen. Okay, so go to the A for addresses. Easy mark. Initiate connection? Yes. This is so fun. Okay. Objective is to drain the financial nodes. Remember, you can move in between the nodes and we'll pass the turn onto the network. Okay. Move to F0. Let's go ahead and drain. End. Tracing protocol, trace success. Okay. You can spend an action to run a program from your deck. The programs, <clears throat> the programs that you bring with you on a mission determine the strategy. You start a program by typing the name. For instance, the program cloak will slow down the network's tracing attempts. Type cloak into your console and run it. Cloak. How do I know what programs I brought with me? Input cloak. Well done. When cloak is active, you have a chance to evade the network's trace that turn, buying you more time. Your active programs appear on the left-hand side of the screen. An active program requires processing power. You currently have eight processing slices at your disposal. Right now, the cloak is using all eight. Oh, dang. More slices assigned to the program, the more efficiently it will run. Uh, continue draining the financial node. Okay, drain. And drain. Wow, drain. Wow, drain. What? Oh, end. Tracing protocol. Tracing failed. Yes! Manually interfacing with the financial node is a tedious process. The leech program can only be used on financial nodes and will automatically drain them for you. Remember, you can run the program by typing its name. Leech. Leech can't be started because Cloak is eating up all the processors. Oh, okay. The slice command can be used to re redistribute them. Uh, enter slice cloak four to reduce the to four. This will make the cloak less effective, but frees up spaces. Space bleh, frees up slices for the leech. Slice cloak four. <gasps> Great redistributing slices does not take any actions, so use it often. Now try running leech again. Remember, you start a program by entering its name. Leech is now installed on this node and will drain the credits every turn. Saving your saving you actions. Assigning more slices to the cloak will make the network slower, giving you more to leech means means will it wait what? Giving more to leech means will make it drain credits faster. There are three commands that you can use to manage your slices. Slice, slup, slow down. Okay. You'll learn about those as you go along. Okay. You can remove the program by with the remove. For instance, remove leech will remove the leech. However, removing a leech does cost you an action. Practice using leech and cloak to drain the rest of the credits. <clears throat> when you're ready, exit the network with exit command. You can install multiple instances of leech on different nodes. If you are stuck, use help. And <clears throat> for more information, Wait, for information and examples on specific commands, enter help followed by the command name. Uh, for example, to get help on the slice command, type help slice. 
Okay, so Leech is running on that one, right? So we can do move F1. That's the end of my turn. I'm going to hit end. Oh, it was successful. Did Leech just die? What happened? Wait, no actions remaining. Turn terminated. Tracing successful. Leeched 20 credits. All right. So we're going to run Leech and move F0. Oh, that's why. It didn't have any more done. Okay, end. Tracing protocol, tracing failed. Good. Leech 20 credits, start a player's turn. Move F1. And there's 10 credits left. I'm going to go ahead and take a drain. Drain the 10 credits. Leech is gone. Um, slup. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try this. Slup cloak. No. Slice cloak eight. So it's now up to eight for the cloaking device. And we're gonna end our turn. Tracing failed. Nice. Now I'm just gonna try something here. LS. Unknown command. Um DIR. Question mark. Question mark by itself. Help. Um, let's see. Task list. Um, Telnet. <laughs> um, CMD. What else do I know? Task kill? Question mark. Help. Okay, slice up, slice down. Move interface. Perform current interface at the cost of an action. Current interface is just drain. End ends the turn. Exit it exits the network. Slice, slup, slow down. Add slices to a program. Remove slices from a program. Removes a program. Help chat. Focus on the chat window. What chat window? What? Chat. Chat is disabled. <laughs> Cloak and leech. Okay, I think... Move F0. So there's no credits left in that financial node. No credits left in that one. So we can go ahead and exit the program. Abort the connection. Yes. Gray hat reputation plus one. Completion time was 6 minutes and 40 seconds. Credit saluted was 150. Objectives completed was 4. Very nice. <clears throat> you have another email. The dot blinking next to the email command shows that you have unanswered emails. I see that. E, email. Clover. Well, maybe this does. I heard back from Snail. Says your guy has triad connections? I gotta go out and confirm a few things, but I'll be back, uh, back to you soon. Data, I know, I know Kraken put you behind bars, but you can't go crusading on me just yet. Okay, just like before, we're gonna have to trust each other. That's why you came to me, right? Let's let me handle this for now. I bet it's him. I bet Clover is Kraken. Hit the. That's. I'm just calling it right now calling it. No, Snail is cracking. No, no, Snail. Snail might be cracking. I don't know. Maybe I'm cracking. Uh, anyways, you wanted something real, so uh, here's a good payout. If Snail's lead pans out, you might need money, the money soon enough. Okay. Shift. Whoops. Shift down. Okay, and that's the previous conversation. Okay. All right, I trust you. All right, I trust you. I'll play dead. I'll stay off the radar for now. Okay. So, addresses. Can I hit T for internet? Uh, look through the wires database for information. Press enter start typing search terms press enter to confirm the search terms uh, 
code primate. No results. Google. No results. Um, snail. No results. Kraken. Oh. The wire rank, 121. Snail. No results. Uh, clover. Hold on, let's go back to the email. How does he spell it? It's with a three. Okay, back to the internet. Enter. Clover. Is that a one? C, okay, capital C, one, zero, V, E, R. Maybe not. Okay, back to the email. I think it's a one. Okay, how does snail, snail is just by itself. And is that a one or is it an L? Okay, let's go back to the internet, search terms, L1. So it's an L. Fine, let's go to addresses. <clears throat> uh, the wall. One binary wall detected, financial node, data node. Initiate connection, yes. This is giving me the feels, like, oh. Move to the financial node. Move that zero. Oh, ouch. Trace increased, binary wall has increased. Ouch, this connection is protected by ice. Um, if you try to cross a protected connection, you trigger the ice. <coughs> there, there are many types of ice, each with its own effect. This binary wall, for instance, stops you dead in your tracks and increases the network trace. Oh, okay. Other ice may let you pass, instead hindering your progress in other ways. Breaker programs help you deal with ice. You have one in your deck called Dagger. Run Dagger program now. Dagger. Oh, dude. Just like Leech, Dagger will operate every turn, breaking down ice as usual. You can speed up the program by giving it more slices uh, with the slice command. Uh, how many do I have right now? Let, let's wait for Dagger to finish off ice. Once the binary wall is down, move to the financial node. Um, okay, slice, Dagger 8. We're distributing eight slices to dagger. I don't know what that did. Okay, so do I just end? Okay, let's do this. Slice dagger four. Oh, did it take a turn from me? Okay, okay, we can't do anything. My, my turns are done, end. He traced me, the network has traced me. Go, Dagger. Good job. Okay. Dagger stopped running. So, uh, Cloak. We are running Cloak. 75% slower. Move F0. Good work. There's another node here we haven't seen yet. A data node. Move to the data node. If you want, to, you can first clear out the financial node uh, or drop Leech on it. Let's end our action. Waiting for the trace. Dang it, it traced me. All right, we're going to go ahead and run leech. Uh-oh, program requires at least one to function. Oh, slice cloak four, leech. There we go. Leech program is running, move D0. <coughs> You're now on a data node. Data nodes can hold all sorts of interesting and valuable information. By interfering, by interfacing with a data node, you can download its contents to your terminal. Remember that you can always check how to interface with a node at the bottom of the screen. Oh, download. Takes two turns. Will download automatically. Takes two turns. Okay, I've already ran out of actions for this turn, so end. Tracing protocol. It traced me. Leech was good. Download. Good. Downloading information can take time. 
the next the display next to the node will show you how many turns are left before the download completes. Two turns are left. So now what? Um, should I move? I can't do download again. Oh, it did handshake action burned one action left. Um, move F zero. Why not? And tracing protocol tracing was failed. Thank you. Okay. So it's still downloading. Uh, there's 20 left in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the drain. Leech program's done. Uh, we're going to slice cloak eight. That, are, that way our cloak's back up and move to D0. Interfaces download end. Trace protocol tracing is failed. Download complete. Splendid. You can now exit the network with the exit command. I'm going to do move F0, move A0. Is there any interface here? Interface, reroute, attempt to fool the network, decrease trace limit by three, once permission. Interface. Cannot interface, no actions left. End. Interface. Trace minus three. <gasps> nice. Not that it matters, but. Oh, look at that. It took the traces down. Okay, end. Uh, you still have actions remaining. Wait, are you sure you want to end your turn? No. Exit. There we go. Abort connection? Yes. Oh, it's so fun. It's so fun. Enter to advance. All the data bits you download from <coughs> data nodes from data nodes can be viewed in the information tab. Press I to view the information tab. I information. This this is a database containing all the nodes and ice you have encountered. It also shows you the data that you have collected from data nodes. Data you collect can lead to new missions and programs, etc. Press enter with the data bit selected to process it. Ghost network, binary wall, nodes. Unpacking. Oh, I love this. Databit is giving you a network address. Go to the address panel. <gasps> Wait, okay, hold on. From Daniel to Chris. I had an IT guy set up the ghost network. He threw in a hangman program for free to tighten up security. Here's how I understand it. The system node monitors the base network for transactions, intercepts them, and skims a bit off the top before forwarding the transaction to the actual recipient. Obviously, we need to cut him in, so I offered him 10% cut. This is gonna make us rich, dude. Cheers, Daniel. Daniel! Daniel! Dang, Daniel. Now, can I process this? No, nothing there. Don't need to process, don't need to process. Okay, it's just information, so. The data bits had to be decrypted. Okay, let's head to addresses. Some missions have specific requirements. For this mission, you will need to equip a new program called a sniffer. You can manage your deck in the deck panel. Press D to access the deck panel, D. Here you can equip programs uh, that you wanna take on a run. You can equip a total of five programs the top screen shows the programs that you have equipped. The bottom shows the programs that are available. Uh, for now, equip the sniffer program. Uh, once you're done, go back to the address panel and start the mission. Nice. So we got cloak, we got dagger, we got leech, we got sniffer. Nice. Okay, so let's go check our emails real quick. Nothing new, all right, trust you, status. White hat reputation, gray hat reputation, black hat reputation. I already know what those are, so I'm not gonna read the descriptions. You can read the descriptions if you want. Back to addresses. 
Let's go to the hangman. A test network. You found an address from downloading one of the data nodes. While on the network, while the network is still under construction, you should make it an easy target. You, sh it should make an easy target. Okay, port scanning. I have found two ice detected, financial node and a system node. Initiate connection. Yes. It also said requirement sniffer. Use sniffer to test if connection has protocol of ice. Um, enter sniffer F0. Sniffer runs a set amount of runs for a set amount of time and cannot be removed or boosted with additional slices. Sniffer will eat up slices for two turns. After that, it will remove itself. Uh, using sniffer to investigate connections is a safe tactic at cost of slowing you down. Cloak makes you trace. Leech will drain finances. Dagger slices. We, we got all that. <clears throat> the slice command allows you to redistribute and you can remove program to remove it completely. Remove. Okay, so does this cost an action? Oh, it says program is still running. Uh, oh, there, up there, the, the little pie symbol. It's using two slices. So, dagger. Oh, no, 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 let's start cloak. Cloak. Slice, uh, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, and we cannot reroute. Attempt to fool the network, decrease the trace by three. End. Trace failed. Okay, so player's turn. Interface. Interface. What? Trace already at zero. Oh, it reduces it by that many. Okay. Binary wall, 75. Um, dagger. Oh no. Okay. Slice, cloak, uh, two, four, six. So let's go to four. Sli what? Slice, slice, cloak, four. Oh, I typed it wrong. Dagger. Ooh, that's kind of running slow. Need at least two to function. Okay. So what can we do? There's no trace yet. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Slice, cloak, two. Slice, dagger, four. There we go. So we redistributed it and dagger program requires at least two okay end my turn you have still have an action remaining no uh yeah end yes there we go tracing protocol trace failed good sniffer oh nice inflicting damage it's still running but i mean Dagger. Program is already running. Okay, fine. Um, move F0. Okay, that did not work. Um, chat. Press tab to return to console. Test. Oh, chat. Test. I guess the chat's not working, so. Um,. And yes. <gasps> no, it traced me. Dagger, go. Oh, so close. Okay. So we've only got two, so I'm gonna go end again. Because we can't do anything. Yes. Trace failed. Good. Dagger. Thank you. Dagger program stopped running, so now we can slice cloak eight. 
and why not interface and move F0 and okay trace failed currently financials is 50 50 so it detected two right so slice cloak uh, eight six the sniffer program value required address oh sniffer s0 oh <gasps> there it is the hangman monitors the connection for illicit traffic when triggered hangman will remove all programs and install a piece of malware that will prevent you from running a stealth program for a set amount of time will also increase the trace okay slice slice cloak for dagger oh wait 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 leech leech should be running too right yeah good end oh we got a trace on us leech got 10 i'm going to perform a drain that should take care of all of that okay so we don't have that running anymore we still have two nodes that we can use one two three four five six yeah so let's do cloak uh slice slice cloak two dagger <sighs> nice and trace protocol End. Yes. It traced me again? Oh, the cloak's only got two. There we go. Dagger's done. So slice, cloak, eight, move A0, interface. Reroute ability already spent. What? Oh, did I use it earlier? Eh. <laughs> move f0 okay actions are done end tracing failed move s0 the system node can be uh can control a variety of aspects of the network <clears throat> look at the bottom of the screen to see what interfacing in particular system node does think before you act your decisions can affect your reputation and the way people react to you okay interface used by daniel and chris to steal from their employer intercepts transactions skims a bit off the top and then forwards them to an encrypted network address interface forward evidence to police reroute funds to personal account do nothing black hat decision white hat decision of course this would be more of a gray hat decision and i'm going to explain why because first off i just hacked into the system i'm technically black hat at that point or gray now where the white hat would be the system administrator who's setting things up taking the evidence of the bank accounts that's being scammed and forwarding it to police becomes a white hat move so your black black hat action and your white hat action combined to become a gray action i'm gonna do that so we're gonna forward the evidence to police reputation plus one forwarded evidence oh i'm out okay end yeah go ahead and try and trace me that's fine i'm gonna see if i can configure anything else interface can't interface no port of call cannot interface with this node move f0 nothing else here interface oh the interface command is drain it's already done so we're done exit yes white hat reputation can't yes 
You have another email. Email from Clover. Okay, snail's info. Snail's info was good. Kraken has been working for the triad lately, mostly swiping medical database databases. Kind of menial stuff for someone of that high profile. Someone that high profile, but it seems legit. His latest hits were against Sani Corp. Look it up. Oh, Sani Corp. S A N I Corp. They haven't noticed a thing so far. That's where it gets interesting. At this point, only Sani Corp target left is Juicy Data Center in Marisol. Check the attached address. Could we pull off a honeypot? Track Kraken for a moment, he touches it. If you get to the network first, maybe you could install a Trojan on the data node. They go for pretty cheap on the black market, right? What do you think? Thanks. I can work with that. About this whole thing with Kraken leaking my identity. It's not revenge, you know. All I just need to know. I just need to know why he did it, how he got a hold of that information in the first place. I owe you, Clover. I'll take it from here. You now have access to the market screen. Press B to access the black market. Dude, nice. Okay, first off, T. Oh, oh, oh. T. Enter. Sani Corp. Sani Corp is an IT security well, service provider uh, for healthcare sector headquarters in Riga, Latiba, and owned by Vera Group. Sani Corp's main focus is development of an open standard for global medical finances, DMF, across the Europe. European market allowing medical institutions to share information without technological incompatibilities. These activities are funded primarily by selling proprietary middleware solutions and integration services. Sandy Corp's fast growth promotes promoted concern after the white hat pen test revealed several vulnerabilities in Sandy Corp's data exchange protocol. In response, the company was purchased by Veracorp in 2058, who reassured stakeholders uh, any remaining vulnerabilities would be patched promptly, resulting in a st stabilization of the company's stock value. However, in recent years, anonymous reports from former staff have hinted at a deficiency, deficient security culture in general. Allegations were so far remained unaddressed unaddressed <sighs> what black market uh i was just looking at the time i realized this video is going to be 45 minutes long <laughs> so that's it i gotta say i'm excited for this to release on full program like guys if 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 you have not played a game like this, I highly recommend it. Also, you need to be good at typing, so make sure you get your home rows down. You might take a little bit of time and, and get better at typing, and then, wow. Again, links in the description down below. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Midnight Protocol with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all those cool things supposed to call out at the end of the videos. It's up to you if you want to. It's your choice. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.